I'm just not, I'm not vibing. Photos, please. This is so young. Hair reveal in three, two. Good morning, guys. So you all seem to really enjoy my eating and working out like Kylie Jenner for a day. So I thought we would try eating and working out like Kendall for a day. I would consider myself built quite similar to Kendall. We're both tall and slender. We're both models. I thought we would just try it out for a day, see how she maintains that model physique and see if it is realistic for someone like myself. Kendall likes to wake up at 6.30 a.m. for the gym and then by seven, she is in the gym training with her personal trainer, Gunnar. He basically said that he just works on cardio with Kendall and some weights. I usually am a weights girl, but today I decided to delve into some cardio and I did a more cardio based workout. Interesting, I definitely prefer doing weights and I hate cardio, so we got through it though. We persisted, but it just made me realize that I'm really not fit when it comes to cardio. <laughs> Those burpees were hurting. But then I just tried Kendall's at home ab workout. Basically it's just like planks, crunches, and my abs were burning. So I would consider that a really good workout. And I also somehow filmed the entire thing in slow motion. <laughs> I need to go home. I'm literally going home. It was a really good workout though. I do recommend trying it out. So I'll link it down below. Go off with the workout queen, go Kendall. We see why those abs are popping. But now that I have finished our workout for today, I'm gonna have a shower and it is time for breakfast. Very excited for that. I just wanted to pop in here and talk a little bit about the sponsors of today's video, Skillshare. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, you are missing out. It is an online learning community with thousands of classes on a bunch of different topics for curious and creative people like us. One of my favorite classes that I've been taking recently is actually by one of the hosts from Queer Eye, Jonathan Van Ness. I'm doing his class, The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook. I love how professionally shot the class is. It's so easy to follow along. And of course he is so entertaining to watch. It's really helped me during lockdown to spend some more time on me. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means there are no ads. They have thousands of online classes in all different topics like photography, plant care, productivity, art classes, you name it. They have classes for every skill level, whether you're new to something or a pro. They also have Skillshare live classes where you can work along in real time with your classmates. It's basically like going to school, but you can choose whatever you wanna do and do it from home. Honestly, school was just not my cup of tea, but I love learning on Skillshare because I can do it in my own time and choose topics that I'm really interested in. Skillshare were kind enough to give us a link. So the first thousand people to click the link will be getting a one month free trial of Skillshare. Click it in the description box below. Okay, thank you so much again to Skillshare and let's get back to the video. Instead of starting her day with a coffee, which is what I usually do, Kendall likes to have detox tea apparently in the morning. I couldn't find the detox tea that she has, but I did find this one by T2. Being a little naughty, whatever good intentions you might have, this brew is here to help you through. Not quite sure how you can detox your body without pooing the bad things that you've eaten now. What even is a detox? Do we even know? Kendall's a bit mysterious. I think I'm gonna go to Vegas to get a tattoo. She's a bit more private about her day-to-day -day life. So it was hard to find out what she eats in a day. So for breakfast, Kendall apparently likes to have eggs over avocado with some oatmeal on the side. Bread. <laughs> it's actually 
actually not too bad without sweetener. Okay, we'll try the detox tea. Maybe that helps. The detox tea just tastes like slightly flavored water. I mean, this seems like a healthy rounded breakfast for me. I'm just not, I'm not vibing. He's being really insensitive. Just doesn't get it. He has no idea what I'm going through. You know when they say nothing tastes better than being skinny? Not true. Just let me do your life. <laughs> I'm gonna let my tummy lay on the bed for a second. I don't know if this is something Kendall Jenner would do, but it is something Susie needs to get done. I booked in to get my hair done today. Yay, I'm so excited. My hair is long overdue. I'm here with Bianca. <laughs> Hi, Bianca. She's gonna do my hair. Exciting. Guys, I feel like Priscilla, Queen of the Desert or something right now. <laughs> Not blonde blonde, but it's definitely a lot lighter than I've ever gotten it. I got curtain bangs and I'm so happy with it. It's giving me 70s supermodel realness. Wow, purr. <laughs> that took five hours. It's a lot of upkeep being an influencer like me. According to my sources, AKA a couple of Google search answers, Kendall's favorite lunch to have is brown rice, veggies, and chicken, which I wasn't exactly loving, especially considering the fact that I'm a pescatarian. So I just got the microwave packs of rice because I'm lazy. Instead, I decided to try out this suspicious looking plant-based chicken. And then I just tossed that all together with some capsicum and asparagus in a pan, added some garlic powder and bada bing, bada boom, there's lunch. Not gonna lie, it was a little bland and the fake chicken was looking about as dry as a nature's valley bar. So I decided to add my own creative integrity, AKA a little bit of barbecue sauce. And after it was bloody lovely, that'll do me real good. Now I wanna do my makeup obviously and get dressed like Kendall. So Kendall has a video on Vogue where she shows like how she does her everyday makeup. And then we can take some photos with this hair. I'm so excited. <laughs> You like it? Yeah. I thought you'd gone and chopped it all off again. No. Oh, they're nice. They look really nice. Those are cute jeans. Your cute jeans. Those are mine? No. Oh, I thought you said your cute jeans. I did. Those are my jeans? No. Then why you did you say- You are cute jeans. No primer or anything. She just goes straight to foundation. She's using Chanel. I'm not bougie enough to have Chanel, but I do have this IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. I feel like that's more than she used on her entire face. It basically looks like I'm wearing like nothing, which I think is the look that she goes for. She uses like a cream concealer and then she just dabs it in with a beauty blender. She puts it up here. I'm gonna spot conceal, AKA cover my entire face. And she just does her in. Then she's using a bronzer stick. She just did lines here and then like dots around her forehead. I think mine is a bit more pigmented than the one she put on. Oh my God. I'm just gonna try and blend it in a little bit more because oh my God, I look like I've smeared poo on my face. Actually, I'd be quite concerned if my poo was this color. Kendall can pull off anything. So I'm just going with that energy. Then she just goes down the side of her nose, her already minuscule nose and contours it. Oh, I like that tip. I've never done that before. She takes the cream contour and uses it a little bit on her eyes as well. Hey, that looks cute. Milk makeup cream blush. She says she likes using creams because she likes to be dewy. And then she goes in with a cream highlighter and dab it on the high points. That's what she was doing. Wow, I look very dewy right now. Okay, and then she's just powdering with a pressed powder and a sponge. And she says she avoids the bits where she highlighted. She's going in with more bronzer. Okay, I'm kind of shook, that looks nice. And she stretches her eye out like this and applies a bit of brown pencil eyeliner. She goes in with Armani mascara. I'm gonna go in with Il Maquillage. I'm a supermodel. I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. 
and then she just goes in with a gloss. Okay, and that's the Kendall Jenner makeup. Oh my God, I forgot my hair was blonde. I mean, I do actually quite like this makeup routine. Happily surprised me. Look at my lashes. Hi guys, it's Cozy here. I'm actually the fifth Kardashian sister who lives in the basement. <laughs> Kendall's fave snack is carrots and hummus. So I made some carrots and hummus and I actually have this really delicious dukkha hummus. So I decided to have that and it was honestly so good. I would definitely have it again. For the Kylie video, we obviously took some Instagram photos, but I feel like Kendall isn't as big of an Instagrammer, but people are always taking inspiration from her paparazzi style photos. So I thought we would recreate a paparazzi photo. I'm just gonna walk outside and I assume the paparazzi will probably come to me because I'm like famous now. <laughs> Hopefully we get some good shots and then I guess I'll just like buy them from the paps. So there's this photo where Kendall's wearing like a blue jumper. It's Yeezy. I don't have a Yeezy jumper, but I do have a blue jumper. And she's wearing just like Levi's by the looks of it and some sneakers. I'm gonna put that on in three, two, after. Okay, I'm outside and I'm just gonna, I guess, wait until the paparazzi come and find me. Just gonna walk around and like look good and then hopefully we get some cute shots, so. No photos, please. No photos. No photos, please. 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 All of that getting papped has gotten me hungry, so it's time to have dinner. She actually has this recipe that she says she makes all the time, which is fettuccine and peas. And it sounds super easy, so I'm gonna have that for dinner. Basically, it's just fettuccine, onion, peas, garlic, parmesan, salt and pepper, and half a lemon. And I'm actually starving now, so I'm very excited. I'm just starting by putting my water on to boil and then chop up your onion and garlic. The recipe I found asked for one clove of garlic, but I'm just gonna do three because one doesn't seem like enough. And add a little bit of olive oil and saute your onions and garlic. Frozen peas. And leave that for a few minutes as we wait. Waiting dance. Okay. Put a cup of the pasta water aside because we're gonna add it in later. And then when your pasta's cooked, you just drain it and add it, oh my God, and add it to the saucepan. And mix in some shaved parmesan. I guess to make this vegan, you could use nutritional yeast instead of Parmesan. And then just season it with some salt and pepper and squeeze half a lemon into it. That was one of the quickest dinners I've ever made. So I hope this tastes good because I will make it again. Taste test. Yum. This is tasty, like fully tasty. I just like to know how big a serving she has because I doubt it's that big. I'm gonna make this again. This is so yum. All done. Highly recommend trying that one out, guys. It is so good. I'm having seconds. I don't know if Kendall would have seconds, but Susie does. <laughs> Mum has given her tick of approval. I don't have, it's really good. Thumbs up. About dessert time and when Kendall has dessert, she apparently loves frozen yogurt and she also loves Twix bars. And Susie also loves Twix bars. This was just a match made in heaven for me. I have not had a Twix bar in so long and I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. Apparently, Kendall loves to have a Twix bar on hand when she's modeling. I'm not exactly walking the runway or anything, but I can walk around my room. Hire me, Chanel. Okay. Does she eat the second half? I feel like she doesn't eat the second Twix bar, but... 
Since I've had my dessert, that is the end of me eating and working out like Kendall for a day. I probably had about twice the servings that she did, to be honest, because I felt full the whole day and I doubt I would have felt full if I ate the amount that she ate. And I'm glad I got to bring you guys along for my hair transformation. I was just taking photos with a cake to celebrate 100,000 followers on Instagram. So go follow me on there at Suzy J Todd. If you guys want me to do any other eating and working out like a person for a day, then please comment them down below. Make sure to like if you enjoyed and also subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Nice. That looks good. That looks good. Yay! So you're breaking up with me because I'm too... Blonde?